Hello, and this is my Python series tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you, I think, if statements and raw input. Let's get into it. So, what, um, by the way, uh, I usually do it like this, but I click this thing right up here, and it opened up full screen. So, hopefully you can see this, guys. Um, so, um... Let's get into raw put input. So raw input is um, if statements and I think raw input um, are uh, well the if statements I know are um, this only only uh, only um, can't use the console for if statements. So let's do raw input. Um, so how you do raw input is you do this. And you just click enter, and that's wrong. But, but <laughs> if you type that in, it's gonna have an error. Um, how you really do it is our let's let's type our variable equals raw input, and that's how you do it. So that if we run our Python file, you run it. Now we can type here. Uh, hello. Now let's. That not really prove anything, so let's do our variable. Let's run it again. Oops. Okay. Oops. Pause. Stop. Okay. Um. And then it prints high, because that's what I typed. Typed in high, and it it, it printed out high, because it said print out a variable. I hope that's enough to cover that, because I'm going to move right into if statements. So if statements. So if statements is you do it like this, if. That's it. You got an if statement. Now, indents are um, important here. Let's say if our variable is equal to, um, oh, you don't want to do equal once, you do equal twice. That means it is the same as. If you do equal once, it says if, and then our variable n needs to be, needs to now be this, which it's not going to like because that's in an if statement, which it's like, what the heck do I do? So you want double, um, double equal, and then uh, likes that. Now we got tip thing in. Uh, how about if it equals, um, let's do YouTube. YouTube, there. Now you can click enter, and don't click delete. Um, you want to have tab once, because that's saying, okay, if our our variable equals YouTube, then run this code. Now, so I'll it I um, if you don't have the dent, it's gonna say, oh, there's nothing with that indent right like this. So don't do anything. Which it which you can't do that. It doesn't like, as you can see. So you have to have something for it to do. So. Cause it's it's bored. It's a computer. It's got nothing to do. So let's say um, print uh, it worked. You typed and then and then this is new as well. Else you're not gonna do like you're not gonna do this. No, you're not gonna do that. You're just gonna type else. That's all. Now, um, and and then same thing as out if you want to have a tab. So it's saying, if our variable equals YouTube, print it worked. You typed YouTube. Else, if it didn't, if that didn't, if that this wasn't true, then you're gonna run this. Now let's say, whoops. 
so, whoops, something went wrong. And then, I'll print that. But, well, it's inside the if statement, so, okay, so it's going to say, whoops, something went wrong. Now, well, what if, what if I did this? <laughs> I've had this mistake once before. It's going to think, oh, okay, if, if our variable equals YouTube. I mean, if it, if our variable is equal to YouTube, um, it's gonna say print. It worked. You typed YouTube. Else, wait. But it was true. That's what it's gonna do. So you want to make sure that this isn't in its, in. It's gonna say, oh, I need to run all this code. Wait, I don't know how to run else. There's no if statements right here, behind me. So this, why is this else in front of me? Well. You want to make sure that there's no tab. Unless you have an if statement here, then you can do that. Which, that's more complex. So, whoops, I have a capital P. Okay. So, it says I have more errors. What is it? Those. No. Hold on, let me get my dog. Okay, so, well, that's all cool. Um, oh, the errors, yeah. Um, what does it want there? Hold on, let me just look at one of my other Python files. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I've been doing JavaScript and stuff, and I was think um, so you have to have a semicolon. So I was thinking, well. I thought this did everything. So it's actually a colon, like that, and then like that. Yeah, it's all green. So you want to do if our variable equals YouTube, and then set, uh, col I mean, just colon, and that'll work. Let's run it. Cool. Um, YouTube. YouTube. It worked. You typed YouTube. Let's run it again. Let's print. HDME. I, I just <laughs> typed random characters. HDME. Whoops! Something went wrong. Yay! It worked exactly how we want it to. Well, it doesn't really indicate we want the the user to type something. So, how can we fix that? Well, it's something actually really simple. You just can put some quotes in that raw input, and you say, "Type here and there." Well, let's run it. Type here. Okay. Um, YouTube. I like that. Oh, yay, it worked. Cool. Now, this is a little annoying. Because, I mean, this isn't really a perfect program. So, to make this our perfect code, let's just put in a comment. So, let's comment this out. That's maybe a new term. That means it's still there, but it doesn't run it. How we'll do that was we'll do slash slash twice, like so. <sighs> I'm sorry. Don't forget that. That's um, JavaScript. Okay. It's so hard learning two languages at the same time. Uh, well, doing two languages. Um, so you see that three button? I think it's called a hash mark. Um, type in a hash mark, and there we go. And when we run it, it doesn't print it. Yay, we solved that. That's cool. Um, oh, I've got a cool one for you. Okay, let's just edit this a little bit. Okay, so, um, let's, uh, I've got a cool one. If, um, our variable, If our variable equals, let's do YouTube, because I mean, not everyone uses caps. <laughs> let's just command X to this. Can't do it. Command X. There we go. So let's do print.
prints. Um, let's do the same thing. Print this. Command copy. Command V. There we go. Now, let's do. This is a new one. L if. This means else if. Oh, whoops. I'm supposed to be using L if there. L if there. So else here. So L if that means um that means else if so you can have like multiple ifs um at the on the same like if block and it'll say L if. So let's run it. Let's try you YouTube. It worked. You typed YouTube. Now, so that's it for today. But I have one little thing I want to show you guys. Let me just. I'm just gonna take out this. Actually, we can keep it. Um, let me just set it up for you. Okay, this will cover more in the next episode. But here's a little sneak peek. Our variable equals our variable dot lower. That means if I type like so, uh, YouTube, it says, oh, it worked. You typed YouTube. Well, no. Actually, I typed it in uppercase. But that did dot lower. That means take all the uppercase characters and convert them to lower. That's really useful. And you can also do that with um, uppercase, and you can also make it so there's no spaces, and even something I'm not mastered at, is you can make it so it's all letters. So that's cool. But um, how we do that? Our variable equals our variable dot lower. Our variable equals YouTube. See how this is all up lowercase, and this is all uppercase? Well, that, it, this, this is what I typed in here. I typed here, and then it said, okay, well, convert whatever is here to lowercase. And that says, okay, it's converted to lowercase now. If that is equal to YouTube, well, yeah, it is. Actually, it's lowercase. They're the same. It printed that, so that's how that works. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Remember, comment, like, and subscribe. On uh, my first episode, I got a, a guy that said comment, like, and subscribe. I mean, um, he uh, he liked and subscribed, and I was happy about that. My first, my first uh, subscriber. But uh, anyway, I'll uh, see you next time, and hope you enjoyed this in this video. And. Uh,